Shalom. Welcome to the 22nd shear on Machlokas Rishonim that we find in Sefer Devarim. Today we are going to look at uh, Parsha Sedros Nitzavim. This is Perak Chavtes, Pasuk Yud Zayin. We're going to look at a fascinating Machlokas between Rashi and the Ramban. Let's look at the Machlok, the Pasuk first. Pen Yishpachem Isho Isha O Mishpacha O Shevet Asher Lavavo Pona Hayom, Me Mashem El Kino Alechas Lavod Eselo, He Agayim Ahem, Pen Yishpachem Shoresh Pora Rosh Ulana. Says Rashi here, says the Pasuk, and again, this is Moshe Rabbeinu saying, I'm going to bring you into this bris, this covenant, that if you follow the Torah, you will be able to, uh, you'll be able to get rewards, and if you don't follow the Torah, you'll be punished. And Moshe, Excuse me, Moshe says, perhaps there is among you a man or a woman, a family or a tribe, whose heart turns away from today from being with Hashem our God, to go and serve the God of those nations. Perhaps there is, perhaps there is among you a root growing, gal and horbhand, meaning maybe there is something growing inside this nation that is not, that is not proper and not shalim, not full with its, with its relationship with Hashem. Let's look at what Rashi says. Pen Yishbachem, this means Shema Yishbachemish, maybe there's a man among you, Asher Levavo Ponoyom, whose heart turns away from Hashem today, Melakabal of Abris, from accepting this covenant upon himself. All right, maybe Rashi says, Moshe Rabbeinu is saying, maybe there's somebody out there who doesn't really want to accept this covenant, this bris of keeping the mitzvahs. Now, let's look at the Ramban. The Ramban's commentary on, uh, on Pasuk. Yud Zayin is quite lengthy. We're going to skip to Divrei Hamasri of Amar Pen Yesh So find that in the words. It's in, it's in the middle of the Ramban's commentary on this pasuk. The Amar Pen Yesh and the Ramban says as follows: Moshe said, "Perhaps there is among you someone whose heart turns away today in regard to those that has already been seduced to worship idols, and is in, in his heart he believes in idolatry this very day." Oh, pen yesh b'chem shorash ra. She yifrach v'yiske u'vayamim habayim yotzei prachim ra'im v'yatzmiach midoros. Now this is a fascinating, fascinating comment by the Ramban. He says, maybe there's, some, maybe there's someone among you, an evil root, that in the future will blossom and flourish in the days to come and bring forth evil blossoms and sprout bitter things. V'zeh ash'al asher inedu po imanu ayom. This refers back to whoever is not here with us today. Because the father is the root, and the son is a shoot who will sprout from his roots. This is, uh, this is quoting a pasuk in, in Ishayahu. Moshe mentions the root to say that it's possible that he will bring in the coming generations into this covenant, because the root that's going to sprout in future generations, meaning literally us, right? That that root was there and is being brought into this covenant. Now listen to this line, unbelievable. From a sweet root, a bitter sprout will not emerge. Meaning that if everybody there was full with the full of belief in God and had a strong relationship with God, that type of person is not going to have a child that is going to turn away from God. An amazing, amazing line that I hope you're going to think about for a while. Meaning that anyone whose heart is perfect with Hashem and doesn't contemplate idolatry at all will not have a child who accepts it. Right? That's an amazing comment by the Ramban. So debate between Rashi and the Ramban, and I hope that you'll really see the wisdom in it that'll be borne out by your analysis. And I can't wait to hear what you come up with.